two men are now in police custody in relation to the brutal slaying of the elderly couple in Portland whose partially burnt bodies were discovered on the afternoon of Friday, June 22nd in the farming community of Mount Pleasant. Yeah, EMCM1. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Both suspects were picked up by the police between Saturday, June 22nd and Sunday, June 23rd at two separate locations following an intense operation. Commanding Officer for the Portland Police, Superintendent Dwayne Wellington, said that investigators are conducting a parallel investigation into the fraudulent use of a credit card belonging to the deceased woman. On Friday, the 22nd of June 2018, about 1.30 p.m., the police were called to the scene of a double murder in Mount Pleasant, Portland. Citizens had stumbled upon the partially burnt body of a male and on our arrival, the body was identified as being that of Mr. Halford Anderson. He's otherwise known as Charlie, a 74 year old retiree of Manchester, England and Mount Pleasant in Portland. The home of Mr. Anderson was visited, it's about 40 meters away and it was here that the, the body of his wife, Florence, also known as Gail, she's a 71 year old British national, was seen outside the house. Her body was also partially burnt. The house was partially burnt, however, one room was totally destroyed by fire. The bodies we observed to have wounds to the neck and the face, however, we are not able to say at this time what could have caused those injuries. Our investigation thus far has allowed us to look into both incidents involving the murder and the credit card scam, commented Wellington. Investigators theorize that the Andersons were killed as to thwart the credit card fraud investigation. Unconfirmed reports are that the mastermind may be the son of the couple's domestic helper, who they treated like their own son. In the people have money, in clone the people have card, credit card, and use eight million blood that to be candela. Buy a bike, buy two cars, run taxi, open bar, and a, and a, and a, a, a flask over the place. Yes, yeah, even see him one, they see him body boy. Then. Him. A shot man. Yeah. yeah. So, because in, 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 in clone, I didn't find out now. You know, I didn't kill the people, then, but don't worry, man. He was arrested at a liquor wholesale in downtown Kingston, allegedly purchasing stock for a bar he had opened using the money defrauded from the Andersons' credit card. It is reported that approximately 8 million Jamaican dollars was withdrawn from an account belonging to the Andersons. According to a family member, between August of 2017 and May 2018, a total of 45 credit card transactions were made at prominent hardware stores and supermarkets in Portland without the Andersons' knowledge. And the thing about it is, his mother and the helper. His mother and the helper, you know? His mother and the helper for the woman and the man. The boy, the woman, the white man taking him his son. And look what he do. You know what I mean? If he if doesn't kill him, then if he cut him by his bars and let him bleed out. Yes. Two male persons of interest are now in police custody, who we believe can assist us with our investigations. We are awaiting a post-mortem report to determine the cause of death, and we are also awaiting a report from the fire department, the Portland police stated. The dirty boy, I was in the downtown, I want to sell and make big shopping. Because apparently, his mother did the helper at the yard, and like they grew up like him and the people, him son, like, you understand? And then, yeah, I just damn red and thief and wicked. I don't know why people carry me in final. Come on, just put tire over him and just light him. That mother do. Put tire over him and light him. Wicked act. Buy up car and bike and walk my bar in a wholesale shop man and just trace the, the credit card and wall him. Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. So I decided to pitch that go around. The bodies of 74 year old Alfred Charlie Anderson and his 71 year old wife, Gail Florence Anderson, both returning residents of Manchester, England, were found dead shortly after 1 30 pm on the day in question with multiple injuries. There was also an arson attack at their residence. It is believed that the couple's house was firebombed while they were inside and had to run outside to escape. That is when they were chased and their throats slashed. We are making all the necessary efforts we can to bring the matter to a closure in the quickest possible time. 
Right now we have gotten the assistance of the area headquarters as well as technical services from Kingston. We still have our detectives in the area um, doing all we can to ensure that we solve this heinous crime as quickly as possible. This video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons. To become a patron, follow the link in the description below. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.